Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye-bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George <laughs> likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. <laughs> we know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George! Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. Daddy Pig! Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow! Fantastic! You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready? Steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. That might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
This is a van. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her friends. It's Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Come on, let's cycle through the big hill. Yay! <laughs> Good morning, Mr Fox. It's afternoon, Mr Pig. Afternoon? Already? My watch must have stopped. My shop sells watches and clocks. Let me see what I've got in the van. One grandfather clock. It's a bit big. Good, isn't it? It actually comes in a set of three. Oh. Who's got the loudest bell? I haven't got a bell. Oh, but my dad will have one in the back of his van. Three clocks are much better than one. Dad, have you got a bicycle bell, please? How many do you want, son? I only want one. I do them in boxes of two. Freddy Fox now has two bicycle bells. Brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Dad gave me two bells. Wow. What else has your dad got in his van? He's got everything. Ooh. What shall we play now? Let's have a bicycle race with a big shiny cup for the winner. But where can we get a cup? Yes, where can we get a cup? I'll see what I can do. The best thing about having your own cement mixer is... Dad, have you got a big shiny winner's cup for our bicycle race, please? How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's Gold! Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh! One winner's cup is made of plastic gold. Wow. wow! Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep! Nay! Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs> Chatterbox. It is a lovely sunny day and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Peppa and Susie are best friends. Guess what happened to me yesterday? Yesterday, I went to the duck pond and I saw Mrs Duck. Well, yesterday... Then I went to the supermarket with Mummy. We bought bread, carrots and... 
What's wrong? You talk too much. You go blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox? That's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm, mmm. You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. I can be quiet. It's not Easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> yes. On your marks, ready. get set. Three. Hello. <laughs> I'm home. Oh. I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <laughs> I am an expert at Talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. Oh, oh, you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter. Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter. Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. chatter, 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 chatter. <laughs>
Pepper and her family are going for a drive to the mountains. Are we nearly there yet? Not yet, Pepper. <sighs> Let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Blue! George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. OK. Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win! Hello, Candy! Meow. Hello, Peppa. Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Orange, so I win. Hello, Danny! <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Here's another car. It's Susie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Boo! Yes, George. It's a blue car. So you win. <laughs> <laughs> this is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. There is one red car, Peppa. Where? Oh. <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Look, the sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Pepper and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> and do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> here we are. Oh, where's our rainbow gone? It's moved to the next hill. You cheeky rainbow. Quick, let's catch it. Rainbow, rainbow, it's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> it stopped raining. And the rainbow is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind. There's something over here. Have you found the rainbow's treasure? Yes, I have. A big, muddy puddle. <laughs> this is the best rainbow treasure ever. <laughs> Shake, rattle and bang. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. 
I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a Kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow. How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <coughs> what are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes! <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop! Stop! That is not music. That is just noise. Anybody can bang, bang, bang. But to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madame Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madame Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. Madame Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. Pepper and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record. Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming... I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No. Yes. Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow. No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. 
That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Oh, oh. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Pepper. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes! OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow. Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master. Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots? To be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump. Today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's visit. It is very early on Christmas morning. Pepper and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up! <laughs> Santa's bean. <laughs> Bubble mix. <laughs> Comets. And tangerines. <laughs> Mummy! Daddy! It's Christmas! Hey, what? It's too early, Pepper. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa! Ah! Don't panic! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look. The carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <sniffs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. 
Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. There are paper hats inside. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes, I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <sighs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I asked Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdsey. Birdsey. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Dr. Hamster's tortoise. It is a school day. Children, Dr. Hamster has come to talk to us today. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster is a vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. This is Binky, the budgie. Hello, Binky. Woo. Can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? 
That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. Oh, it is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. <laughs> I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Tiddles! Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What? Again? Emergency! Emergency! Tortoise up a tree! I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. Stand back. Tiddles. Come on, Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, I don't know. Oh, here they are, safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. There's so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. It is morning. Hooray! <laughs> Muddy puddles! <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Duck. What are you doing here? <laughs> wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! <laughs> oh! Who put all this water here? How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shops. Uh... Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Oh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Look. There's Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? 
Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Ah, uh, chocolate. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper? Comic? Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing. With just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Uh, do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good un. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs>
snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. <laughs> it is morning. Yippee! It's sunny. <gasps> snow! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! <laughs> eh? What? <laughs> We are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plough. Snow ploughs push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr Bull. Ooh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night. But the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're all going on a seaside Side. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh, that sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> Hospital. It is playtime at school. Pepper and her friends are running around having fun. Ow! That hurts. Are you all right, Pepper? I've hurt my knee. Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madam Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. 
Does that feel any better? Yes, thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the lift. <laughs> <laughs> Children's ward! <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee. And I got a plaster too. Wow. Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr. Potato. A parrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow. Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow. And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that, I wonder? Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching. It's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro. Bye, everyone. Get well soon, Pedro. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is another school day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the playground. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Pepper. Your knee is better. Oh, yes. <laughs> Everyone? Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg strong now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. Nay. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. <laughs> Everybody likes running around having fun. 